Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma Faith, and today I'm going to share with you five art and watercolor books that I absolutely love. So you may remember back in January, I shared with you my top 10 favorite art and watercolor books. Well, my collection has expanded and I have five more that I want to share with you. So let's jump right in and take a look. Okay, so today I am sharing with you five more art books that I absolutely love. I think I have a problem collecting art books, but you know what? I don't actually think that's a problem. I think it's wonderful and they make me super happy. So let's dive into these five awesome books and see what's inside. Okay, so the first book we're gonna look at is this watercolor workbook by Sarah Simon. Um, I reviewed her last book in my last video, Modern Watercolor Botanicals botanicals, which I absolutely love. I went through it. It is awesome. Has so much great information in it. Um, amazing for beginners, but this book she actually sent me. Um, and I'm so grateful because it's so cool. It's a watercolor workbook. Like the title says, there's actual watercolor paper in it with the illustrations already drawn. So all you have to do is follow the steps and fill it out. Um, so it's kind of like Dana Fox's watercolor with me in the forest and the ocean books where it's done on actual watercolor paper. So all you have to do is take a black ink pen that's waterproof, go over top of the illustrations and then, you know, follow the steps and paint it. So it's super therapeutic. It's amazing for beginners because you have half of the supplies that you need already in this book. I did this one and it was super easy to follow and use. Um, one thing that I really love about this, which I don't see in a lot of others, is she has all the color mixing recipes in it, but with each project, it gives you the breakdown of the color recipes again so you don't have to flip back and you know go how do you make that uh, blush color or the lavender color she said everything is right here so for blush it's like 50% white 30% yellow ochre 20% alizarin crimson like it just gives it all to you right there and I really enjoy that I actually um, picked up some of the colors that she suggested in this book because I love them so much. So these are all the colors that you use in this book. I picked up Perlene Maroon and Perlene Violet and also Oxide of Chromium and they are now in my palette and I really, really love them. Um, but I love her color choices, love her illustrations. And this is just great for beginners to just kind of dive in and use, you know what I mean? You don't um, need to know a whole lot going into it. There's so much information, like I said, at the beginning. Um, but it's just super user friendly and it's more calming and therapeutic to use. Like you don't need to be necessarily good at art and good at drawing because everything is already there. It's more like a coloring book, um, but it's watercolor. So I absolutely love this book um, and definitely recommend it. All the illustrations are so pretty. I need to do more of them clearly. I just need to find the time, but love, love, love this book. Definitely recommend it. The second book we're gonna look at is Watercolor Botanicals by Eunice Sun. She is Electric Eunice on Instagram, which is where I found her like years ago. I've been following her for a long time and she came out with a watercolor book and it's great. I love her style. Uh, it's very different than mine, but there's so much to learn and she does a lot of flowers, but she also does a lot of plants. So let me just flip like, I need to learn how to paint this. I want to do a tutorial on this, the bird of paradise. Um, a lot of tropical plants, so much fun. And her color palettes are just so bright and fun. And she just makes it so easy with the breakdown of everything and the colors you need to use. Um, and at the beginning of the book, it has all the information you need to know about using watercolor, getting started with watercolor, um, the types you should look out for, the supplies you need. And then these like fun, positive quotes throughout the book. Really, really like it. I just love the aesthetic of her book. And I think that's why I love these watercolor books so much. It's not just like a fun read and like, I don't necessarily get them for the tutorials, but I love just like flipping through them and looking at the illustrations and seeing how different people and different artists um, explain their steps. Cause I feel like everyone's so different. Um, but it's just so much fun to look at and it just gives me this happy feeling, but <laughs> this is like so beautiful. Love her composition. She even goes, she even goes through, um, a part of how to do, 
um, different compositions. Yeah, so she goes through a section on composition, rule of thirds, rule of odds, um, which is super helpful because I know I get lots of questions on my YouTube videos about how do I go about composition, which I haven't really touched on too much. So this book is really good for that as well. But overall, I just think it's a super fun book. And if you want to paint some bright um, and vibrant paintings that are, you know, fun and cheerful and just gorgeous, this is definitely a book for you. Totally recommend it. Okay, so the third book we're going to look at is Painting Watercolor Botanicals by Harriet de Winton. Um, if you've watched her YouTube channel or you follow her on Instagram, you know her illustrations are very delicate and just detailed and I really, really love her work. This is the only book that I've picked up of her so far, but I love the step-by-step -step tutorial she has in here. Flowers that I've never even painted, but like look at the detail. I love, I love the little bits of detail that she does. And she tends to work um, with smaller brushes on a smaller scale, like her brush sizes are size zero and size two. So she uses a lot smaller brushes than I'm used to, but I really kind of like it. I like doing smaller stuff. Um, and it just, like I said, it's just so detailed and just delicate. Her work is beautiful and her YouTube channel is awesome. So I definitely suggest you go check that out. But she has all these step-by-step -step tutorials in here of all these flowers. And at the beginning she has, you know, the breakdown of the materials, um, everything you need, watercolor basics, blending, layering, dry into dry, wet on wet, um, you know, color theory, all that kind of stuff, all the colors she uses. So this is a really great book if this is the style of florals that you're into which I absolutely love and it's just a beautiful book to look at but like I said check out her YouTube channel and her Instagram um, and follow along with those two because there's a lot of great stuff in there but like look at all this stuff this this kind of tutorial makes me feel like I need to slow down and just you know really take in the detail sometimes because I find that I go a little bit too loose sometimes and her style is a bit more um, structured but it's just in details. So I really, really love this. And it's something, a change of pace for me that I really enjoy. So that's one of the reasons why I picked up this book and I really enjoy it. The fourth book we're gonna look at is called Color Demystified, a complete guide to mixing and using watercolors. I actually just picked this up at the bookstore the other day. Um, I saw it and I was like, ooh, color mixing. You know I love that stuff. But I'm gonna show you why I got this book and why I'm really interested. Like, I feel like I'm pretty good at color mixing, but this book has like so much information about pigments that I don't know. So I've actually gotten some comments before saying, you need to learn more about, you know, pigments and all that stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I do this for fun. I do this because it's relaxing. I don't know a lot about how it's made and all that stuff. So this book kind of goes through all of that stuff, which I'm so excited to just like dive into and read and learn. Like it talks about like why some um, of the colors are called cadmiums or quinacridones, like just like what that actually means. You know, there's earth tones, um, why some are, you know, transparent, opaque, semi-transparent, like what all that stuff means. So this is a really great learning tool for that for me. Um, also goes through a section on glazing, I think, and layering colors, which is really cool. Like I understanding under layers, I, there's a lot of stuff that I'm still learning myself. So I was super excited to see this book in the bookstore, um, and learn more about colors. And there's some great tutorials in here as well. So this was a really fun one to pick up. I haven't had too much time to go through it yet because, you know, kids, <laughs> but I, this is like one thing I want to do after the kids go to bed that I really want to dive into and look at, but it's pretty cool. And this last book I'm going to share with you, I found on Instagram, it's called Art Supplies, um, making, manufacturing, and creating. And just looking at it, I was like, oh, ah. but the reason why I found it is because Beam Paints is featured in here and Beam Paints is a Canadian indigenous um, paint company that makes watercolor paints. They are all uh, plastic free, you know, natural paints. Um, and they are made on Manitoulin Island in Ontario, which is so cool. Um, and just, it's super awesome. So I saw her, um, so I saw her Instagram story and that she was featured in this book. And I was like, Ooh, that looks like a gorgeous book. So it just kind of goes through like how things are made and just all the background on these paints and her company. But then just looking through the book, there's all of these amazing stories and artists featured in here and companies like 
it's just a gorgeous book and how things are made like pastels, like um, just completely different art mediums that are just breathtaking. And the photography in this book, like look how colorful it is. Like I could just sit here and just stare <laughs> at this book. And it kind of makes me want to like photograph all my palettes. But it's an absolute beautiful book with plenty of new artists to, you know, follow. There was another artist in here that I follow, Emma Block, who does watercolor and gouache illustrations. And I um, looked at her book or reviewed her book the last time in um, my last book review video. And so she's also featured in here. So I was like, yeah, I got to get this. But there's just so much great information. Here's Emma Block's section which I love her stuff, like her illustrations are so beautiful. So just kind of like the background on what she does and how she does it. And it's just so much cool information that I just want to sit and read. But like, like I said, the photographs in this book of all these art supplies, it just <laughs> makes me so happy. So I had to buy it. Um, and there's just a ton of great information in here. So that's, that's why I got it. But like, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is exciting for me. Like, just a gorgeous book to have. So that is my newest favorite book that I'm super excited to dive into and read. So those are my five new art books that I've collected over the past couple months that I am totally obsessed with and super happy to add to my watercolor book collection. I definitely suggest you check them out. If you're into the tutorials, these three are great. If you're into kind of background of like how pigments are made and what they all mean, this is a great book. And if you just want some gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous photos of art supplies and background information on different artists and different supplies and how they're made, this is really great to pick up as well. All of the information on where you can find these books are in the description below. I hope you guys support these authors and illustrators today and go pick up a copy of whatever seems appealing to you. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.